Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, my name is Kelly. And with this series, I am trying to one-up my, my building skills in the game. And this time I'm building in the architectural style of Cape Cod. So as the name suggests, Cape Cod style houses have a history of being in Cape Cod. So US, Massachusetts, Eastern Coast area. They started more towards the 17th century and they gained back popularity after World War II, so like in the 1950s. They're known for like their steep pitched roofs, which I was trying to get. I never built a room like that before with like little windows cutting out. So that was a little difficult for me to try to figure out. Um, but yeah, they have steep pitched roofs to kind of keep snow from falling off. Traditionally, they have symmetrical features with shingled exteriors, typically more of gray or like more weather-worn colors. And symmetry is a big part of it. I only really put one chimney. So it's kind of deviating a little bit there. They're known for lack of ornamentation and the simplicity in the outside exterior. So I went through a few different variations with the windows. I wanted the shutters to look nice. I didn't go fully traditional Cape Cod because there are three main styles and I mean, nothing ever is completely strictly by the books. I just wanted to get the overall feel of a Cape Cod house. Trying to keep that in mind with the symmetry, the shutters, paneling, and the roof. I built this house in Brindleton Bay. I'm fairly certain several of the houses here are Cape Cod. And here I struggle with platforms again because I can't figure out how to do them. So I just put stairs there. If, if anyone can tell me how to do platforms because I feel like I've watched so many people use them correctly and I have no idea. I'd appreciate it. <laughs> I did a lot of flipping around when I was trying to find the placing for everything because I was trying to keep it relatively symmetrical. It, it, got, it got a little difficult <laughs> at some points. I went more with like a, a bluish gray color than an actual like gray paneling on the sides. And I think that kind of helped pop with like the blues and it didn't look super over boring. I also went a little crazy with some of the landscaping. I wanted it to look nice and upkept, but not perfectly pristine. So like the front walkway, I kind of more mirrored the flowers and the bushes, but and I, I like it. I, I think I, I actually really enjoyed, this is one of my favorite builds I've done in a while. I don't know if I just personally like the style more or I have like more of like a sentimental connection because <laughs> I'm from the Northeast, but it, I think it turned out really nice. I really thought it looked cute and quaint. I really loved this build. <laughs> One item I can't believe I forgot. I'm definitely going to go back through and add it at some point very soon was a fireplace. I put a chimney in it, but I didn't put a fireplace in the house. Not the smartest thing there. So I definitely want to go back and add that. I also changed the mailbox to a little letter box at the front door. That was kind of me more reflecting on my my own house that I grew up in when I was a kid. It wasn't a Cape Cod style house, but it was an older house with architecture. So that made me think of that. I was also trying to think of more Cape Cod houses are where it's cold and especially a long time ago, it made more sense to have rooms more cut off and have walls for heating and keeping warm and comfy. So I did kind of go a little bit more boxish with the rooms. I also love how I did like the half wall with the columns. I, with my research notes, I found a few houses like that and wood was a definite. I wanted to make sure there was enough wood and very homey textures. I did think a little bit about, okay, well, you know, if someone was remodeling, would you just like break that wall down? So that's kind of why I did that in the kitchen to family room area. And I just put like the two columns there. Also the bathroom. This is kind of related to my personal life as well. The old house I grew up in, the bathroom was actually cut out from a section where the kitchen would have been and it was later converted into a bathroom. So that's kind of what I went with as well. And I had the hardest time with the stairs. 
I didn't realize that you couldn't put railing on one side. I know that used to be a thing in one of the older games, so I was super confused when I wasn't able to do that. I, it took me a long time of just kind of messing with it and Googling it, and then I realized I couldn't, so it is what it is, but I, I still like it. I think it turned out good. I also purposely kind of matched the tile flooring and the walls used in the kitchen and the bathroom. I thought that made more sense that if you were going to divvy up the room and, and section it off, it would make sense that there's still kind of some cohesion going on. The upstairs, there's two bedrooms, neither is really big, and a bathroom. This is definitely a lot smaller than the place I built last time, but I think it looks very cute and quaint. And if you're in an older home, you're not going to have an abundance of space. It made more cost efficiency having smaller spaces and smaller rooms for heating. One thing I had a lot of difficulty with was seeing the upstairs rooms with the walls up. I don't know if it's just because I built the roof over it and that's why I was having difficulty. But you'll see, I, I kind of tried to cut it so it wasn't too awkward to look at but it, it wasn't the easiest i did go with more like chandeliers and with the bathroom i was kind of trying to make it look a little bit more older style than modern and i did a similar type of furnishing where i only put the essentials in so if you moved into a house, what would realistically be there? The kitchen, I had some difficulty with just trying to find what I wanted that matched and what looked nice. And I feel like we don't have enough cabinets in this game. Like I definitely have enough counters. I could use more, but I, I have enough counters to kind of figure out what I'm doing. But there aren't a lot of options for cabinets. And I, I kind of switched through the, my cabinets several times and you're gonna see me trying to work on this very, very much. <laughs> Just cause nothing really seemed to fit that well. I think I went with an, another cabinet that doesn't technically match. I really like the look of, the, of those open cabinets. Rewatching this footage, I definitely think I wanna go back into the kitchen and modify and change a few things. I don't know if I want to change where the counters are or not and I'm gonna definitely go back through and refurnish it and have a family live in this house but there's definitely things that I need to edit and then with the stove I really wanted to align with the window I thought that made more sense but the window wasn't perfectly placed and then I drove myself insane with that one little spot in the kitchen with, with the extra space like the half tile but then I realized just to put a broom there because realistically sometimes there are little nooks and crannies in houses and that would make sense to hang a broom in a dustpan. Everything's relatively simple. I didn't go very crazy. I didn't go very showy. Um, Cape Cod houses are known for being more simplistically styled. I know obviously that doesn't correlate always to the interior, but I just wanted something that looks a little bit more cozy and traditional-ish than super loud and crazy. Except that light, because I, I could definitely see someone at some point being like, throw that light in the bathroom. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go through and actually fully furnish this house at some point. As for the exterior and the shrubbery, I can't think of words this morning. I think I need more coffee. That's inaccurate. I could always use more coffee regardless of the time. <laughs> Uh, but as for the landscaping, that word, that word. <laughs> I, I still don't know what to do most of the time. I loved how the front turned out and I thought it was really cute. And I was like, okay, let me kind of frame it with some bushes. That makes sense. But I still felt like I had so much extra space. So I'm just like, throw giant trees. That makes sense. Just, just use up the empty space of trees. <laughs> it's in Brindleton Bay. It's in the middle of the woods, hopefully. Hopefully that doesn't look too, too bad. I don't know if you guys have any tips for landscaping or just kind of using up the empty space to make it look a little bit more lived in i didn't really want like a full backyard definitely leave, leave some comments I, I i like i said i'm trying to improve here so and here is the completed build like i said this was one of my favorite builds i've actually ever done i just think it looks so cute and cozy 
and I want some hot apple cider right now. <laughs> so it's the exterior. You walk in and there's like a little foyer area. And to the, which way am I going? <laughs> to the left, it would be more of like the family area, the family room area with the stairway upstairs. Next to that would be a little door. It's very narrow, but like I said, if you took it from the kitchen, so a very narrow little bathroom there, half bath downstairs. Make sure you see it. And then here is the kitchen. I guess it's like a galley kitchen. Is that what it's called? Where it's just like a long hallway and the the pan and dust broom that, that totally helped me make the space more believable because that was gonna drive me insane having that little extra space. But I think it makes sense. Next to that is the dining room area and a little chandelier there, which I fix. Yeah, I didn't like the color of it. It, it didn't really match, so I guess it was good. I, I went back and double checked everything. <laughs> After that, we go upstairs. There's just a small little hallway, nothing too flashy, too crazy. Full bath upstairs to share. And then one smaller bedroom on the right and a little bit larger, be like the master bedroom on the left. And that was it for the build. So I, I really love this house. I definitely want to use it in my gameplay. I'm not quite sure where yet, but I, I, I love how this turned out. I think it was so cute. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and like it. And let me know down in the comments below, do you have any tips for landscaping or platforms? Cause that's, I just can't figure out how to use platforms every time. I don't know if I'm using the wrong tool or what, but yeah, any, any little tips or tricks would be greatly appreciated and thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.